today. I have these here that I had ordered online for my pet bezel, bezel, bezel that I ordered online and I want to fill them up. Now I dried, these are pansies that I dried. I don't know if they're going to be flat enough to go in. Maybe I'll do those two little ones. And I'm probably going to put in this one. And I'm just going to do some, I call them gears. You can call them all kinds of things. I guess there's different names out there for them. But I thought I'd throw some of these in this one. And on the back of them, I think for my pansies, I'm going to put some gold flakes. And for my gears, I might do gold and silver. I don't know. Anyway, the first thing, and we're going to be using a two-part resin. Or, sorry, no, we're not. We will be using one bar UV resin. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to be using uh, UV resin right here. This is the one I've been using a lot of lately. This is the one they sent me ordered a big bottle of this. This is what I actually had ordered. I would ordered one of these and I ended up getting a bunch of these little ones. So maybe they ran out. I don't know. But this one's really good too. I like it. So let's get started. First thing is in this one here where the um, hangy thing is, it's kind of in my way. So I want to get a coat in here, a thin, thin coat in here right away. Get it under the UV light before it leaks. So there's a thin one there. I'll take my skewer, move it around. Like I said, I just want a very, very thin coat because I need room to put my other stuff in there. And then we also have to make sure we have no bubbles. No tape sticking to me. Now there's different ways of getting your bubbles out. You can use a torch, you can use a heat gun, you could use a straw. <clears throat> when you use a straw, you, to, you need to make sure that it's like the heat from your mouth that's blowing it, because that's what pops the bubbles. You can just let it set here and wait for it to pop too, but you know, I could take a while. I'm just going to set it to the side for now and I'm going to fill this one up as well. No, I don't mean fill it up. I mean put a thin coat on the bottom. You don't want to fill it up. You just want to put a thin coat on here. And then after that, we're gonna put it in the UV light. Not for a long time, but long enough so that it'll harden. I might have to switch my idea here because this one here appears to be more thick than the other one. And I think my pansies will fit in here better. All right, I'm gonna blow my heat gun on that. I just feel like doing that today. So, grab that. I'm just gonna have it on low. And I'm gonna put my hand over this stuff so it doesn't blow it all away <clears throat> and give it a little porch. And watch my little bubbles disappear. Another way you can uh, cure your UV resin is the good old sunshine. I've done it before, just, and it works really well. Like sometimes I'm down here and it's like, oh, it's not growing fast enough for me. or getting hard fast enough, so I'll just set it outdoors on the deck. So right now I'm gonna set it under my UV light because this does work too.
turn that on. So I think I will use the larger one for these little dried up guys. And I don't know if I mentioned it, I used um, silica gel to dry them. I was hoping they would stay more in their shape, but they didn't. They dried up really nice. So I figured I'll just stick them in the resin. Oh, broke one. It's all right, I'll just stick it in there. I was trying to pull it out more. It didn't work, did it? See, that's flipped. Anyway, I'm not using that one, it's too big. All right. Let's see if this is hard enough yet. Yeah. Oh, see that tape keeps sticking to me. There. And this is painter's tape. Don't know if I mentioned that. That gets hot, by the way. Just so you know. I'm gonna peel the tape off. Like the metal part is what I'm talking about, gets hot. I just don't want to pull the resin out when I do this either. There. Now we'll go to filling it up. Let me set these in here. If it's a little sticky, that would be awesome. It doesn't appear to be. I'm just going to set those in like that anyway. And I'll put some resin on top. Didn't take much to fill this one, did it now? And I'm just going to slowly drizzle the resin on. So I don't want any air bubbles trapped under it. I love UV resin. It's so fast. I don't have patience for the other stuff. It takes too long. I'm going to let that set a little bit. And I drip some on the side too. Not paying enough attention. That's all right. Just a little tiny bit. Let that set there. And then what we're going to Oh, I should have had my tweezers, but no, I don't, haven't found them yet. It's like they grew legs and walked away. I can't blame it on children running around because my children are all grown up. That's right, this will work. And I'm just going to drop a bunch of these in there. To kind of a layered look. I just want to put a thin layer in here as well, and then we'll put it in UV light. You gotta be careful with resin because until it's hardened, your pieces will move all over the place. So if you stick it somewhere and you think it's gonna stay there, and when you go take it out of the light and it's like, well, what happened to that? Well, yeah, it moves. So you gotta be careful with that too. So I just want a little thin coat in here. Just enough to hold it in. So I wanna put some more pieces in here. I'm gonna stick that in the light right now. Wait a minute, those are bubbles. I almost forget about bubbles. Can't be forgetting about those. And here I gotta cover my stuff again. And we'll give it a blast of heat. See my stuff moving in there? Yeah, because it does move. Yeah, 
know, and it gets hot. So don't be silly like me and pick it up with your fingers. Use these. There, get it in. I'm gonna put that on for a few minutes, actually just 60 seconds. And then we'll be adding some of this to the back of it. What I'll do is I'll get a little cup or a little dish. That way we can mix some resin in it. I said I'm gonna put the gold with that one, didn't I? Let's put some gold in here. It's more than enough, maybe. I'm gonna have glitter everywhere. And I'll put some resin in this. That's plenty. Now I must have right here those popsicle sticks. Mix that all up. And this is what's gonna be going on the back of one of them. I think I'll just do silver on the other one, so I'll get another one of these little things. And we'll put silver in this one. You don't have to. You can easily just um, leave it transparent, see-through. I've done some other ones like that, like right here. What else have I done? Oh, my seashells and stuff. Beach glass. More beach glass and more beach glass. Just playing around, having fun. But these I thought I put it back on. aside for now. Bring these out. This one here. I'm just going to put more resin on top of that. I don't know how this is going to look when I'm done because it's my first time doing it. bubbles. And let that set. Now this one here, I want to put some more gears in it. Maybe some of these little tiny things. I hope I haven't left you in not seeing what I'm doing. I've got all kinds of gears going here. Shuffle them around. Try and get it off my stick. Put some more resin in there. Funny. It's better to do less than more. And I've got a lot. That I think it's just about right. And we'll get rid of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Of those bubbles. I don't want to go too close to it because I don't want to 
don't want it to overflow on me. UV light, see if they're not too hot. They're not cold. There. Get that side done. And then we can do the other side with this stuff. I'm going to leave those in there a little bit longer this time. So I'm going to put John cold there for a little bit. And when I'm ready to do the other side, I'll come back. All right, here they are. Out. Now we need to fix the back. Yes, the back is, you know, that's just rough and bumpy and from the tape. So I do want to put this on the back. But I also want to build it up a little tiny bit. So I think what I'm going to do is put some more resin in here. So I'll get a good amount on the back of it. Uh, the silver I said I was going to put on the... Um, God, all the name that's coming to me is Gears. But there is another name. Cobbs. No. It's not the one I'm thinking of. Anyway, I'm just going to put this on the back. Just want to make sure it's all cleaned up, too. Yeah. Of course, I'm already spelling it. See what I'm like? Finger over that because I don't want that to harden like that. There. But again, this doesn't sit level because of the um, the finding there at the top of it. But as soon as that UV light hits this. It automatically starts to harden. So once I get it under there, I don't really have to worry too much. These are just really quick and easy and fun, you know. It doesn't take a lot. Okay, I'm gonna turn my light on and stick this under there right away. Whoops. There. So that'll start hardening ASAP. And then we'll work on this one. And we'll put some of the Sim Sim. Man, my tongue's all twist tight tonight. I don't know why. Put a little bit more resin in here. I know these bezels are silver, but I'm doing the gold because of the center of the flower. That's why I'm putting the gold in this one. I thought it would bring it out a little bit more. And I truly hope my head's not getting in the way. There. 
And where this one's facing that way, we'll have to put a jump ring in there. Because it won't hang properly. Gotta like glitter. A little bling. And for these other ones that I done all these are um, just some mold, silicone molds that I have for jewelry. It already has the hole right in there. So you can easily put a jump ring in there. You can do up you can paint the sides. I have um, like a gold and silver pen marker for that that you could put on the side if you wanted to, or you could just use paint. But again, it was just something you know easy, fun to do. thing spinning around more than I actually want it to. Just want to make sure I get all these on the edge. Looks pretty good. <laughs> yep, it turns real easy. There, that's good. So I'm gonna set that under the UV light carefully. Put the cover on my resin. But these were fun. These were just little tiny shells and beach glass, and of course you can see both sides, right? Has a nice little shell. It was very pretty. And in here, a little piece of beach glass. Some other stuff that I found on the beach, a little bit of sand in that. These are just those gears. Again, the name's still not coming to me. Same with this. I put on the back here some of that, um, that glittery stuff, mica powders. But again, with the shells, there's a piece of green beach glass in there, some sand. And the same here. Piece of blue, beach glass, same thing, just different order. And this one here with a wore out shell. That was fun. Very fun to do. And quick and easy. Now, there's this one. It's a piece up there. Must have stuck to my finger. It's not hard, hard, so it's coming off easy. So that's the back of it, and it's got a nice curve on it. And there's the front. Oops, see, it's still a little sticky. But pretty neat, isn't it? How it looks. I'll put that back under the light for a little bit longer. Get a little bubble there, but that's nothing. Here's the other one. And again, I will be putting it back in there. I think that looks really pretty. I think it came out nicer than what I thought it was going to. Look at that glitter in the back. Really brings out those little pansies. So there you go. That's this video tutorial. And again, this one here, I will put a jump ring in there and I'll just put a plain, what I normally do for the necklaces, which is right here. <clears throat> Sometimes I get a little creative and do a fancy one. But for this, yeah, I'll be just, no, you know what, I'm gonna have to do a jump ring for that too because it won't fit through there. It's not gonna fit, that's okay. Or I'll just make one, doesn't matter. But that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it was pretty simple, pretty easy. 
and it comes out really nice. Looks pretty cool. There. So don't forget to subscribe, to like, share, and you'll be notified right away when I post my next tutorial. And take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time. Bye.